today I'm taking the air fryer to a whole new level. So I thought I would have a little fun. We're gonna take some of my recipes and cook them in the air fryer to see how they turn out. So if you guys are ready, let's just get to it. So I've been doing a lot of research and one of the most popular things is a steak. A steak in the air fryer. So I have a few steaks. We're gonna put them in and see how it goes. Okay, so we're gonna take just a little bit of olive oil and brush the steaks because sometimes you just need a little bit of oil in your air fryer to make it nice and crispy and just good. So we're gonna actually do both sides of this. Next I have a teaspoon of Italian seasoning that we're just gonna put on here. Again, just a little bit. Then I'm gonna do salt and pepper to taste. I just like using basic ingredients when I cook my steak because the steak literally has all the flavor. Okay, let's flip these over, we'll do the same. Okay, we're gonna let these rest for about five minutes and while we do that, we'll preheat the air fryer. Now that it's all done preheating, we're gonna put them in. Then we're gonna set the timer for 12 minutes. We're gonna check them and flip them about six minutes into it, so make sure you keep an eye on them. All right, we're about six minutes into it. Let's check this out. Oh, nice. Okay, it's smelling so good. Let's flip these. All right, now we're just gonna close it and cook them for the remainder of the time. Okay, it is all done. Let's check this out. Holy, okay, it worked good. I'm curious of the temperature. Let's check this little guy. Let's put it right in the middle here. See, all right, we're way over well, so it is definitely done. Even though it's well done, I'm gonna let it sit here for about 10 minutes, and then I'll get the special butter ready to go. We're gonna save this recipe still. Okay, I got a little bit of butter, and yes, I melted it. Then we have like a half teaspoon of rosemary, a half teaspoon of thyme, and a half teaspoon of parsley. I'm just gonna mix this all together. After tasting it, I decided I want a little bit of garlic too. I'm just gonna throw that in there and then mix it all up. Now usually your butter would be not this soft, but it's still gonna work, it's still gonna be delicious. Okay, let's grab our steaks. And I'm just gonna take our butter sauce. We're just gonna put it on the top. And let it sit here for about a minute or so. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Let's look at this thing. You know, not too bad. Now it's a little more done than I usually prefer, but my kids will love it. All right. I usually like it when it's like almost bloody, so this is not usually how I eat my steak, but we'll try it. It's all right, it's all right. Next time I won't cook it for nearly as long. So if I could rate this one, I would probably give it, uh, I don't know, two, <laughs> two and a half stars out of five. That's partially my fault because I didn't check the temperature halfway through when I probably should have. All right, so I saw that you could cook burgers in your air fryer, so I've never tried it before. We're gonna see if it actually works. So we're going 400 degrees, eight minutes. Wish me luck. So I had one pound of hamburger and I'm just gonna add some steak seasoning. That's my favorite thing on burgers, guys. And then I also love a little bit of garlic salt. And you wanna make sure that you get both sides. So we're gonna flip this baby over. And then season that too. Okay, we are ready. Okay, we're gonna open this up. We can fit all four on here very easily. Just so gonna lift up our burgers, put it right in. Okay, then we're gonna go <laughs> temperature up to 400 degrees. Then we're just gonna go for eight minutes. Push start, ready to go. You guys, the timer's done. Wow, I'm actually impressed. Look, we're gonna cut into this because some of those don't look done. I'm just gonna check the temperature inside just to see what we're at. So we're like 178, it was 180, 
These are, these are cooked. Okay, so while we're getting the buns and everything ready, I'm actually just gonna set the cheese on. We're making cheesy burgers today. All right, we got our buns ready to go. Let's pull out these burgers. Those look amazing. And yes, I know, my burgers are small for my buns. I know this, I know this, but it's still gonna taste so good. Now you can just put on all of your favorite toppings. These are some of my favorites. All right, so because I live in Utah, I love fry sauce on my burgers. It's so good. So I'm gonna show you how to make fry sauce. So you're just gonna add a little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit of ketchup, a little bit of barbecue sauce, and mix that all together. Now, as I'm putting this on, I'm curious if you have a favorite sauce that you like on your burgers. If you do, go ahead and comment down below for me. Okay, guys, that looks so good. You guys see this? This is my kind of burger. Let's, let's try it. <laughs> mm. Good. All right, the third recipe we're gonna try is beef jerky. Now, I saw some air fryer beef jerky recipes and I thought it was interesting. So we're gonna try it out, see if it works. Okay, so we have some bottom round thin sliced meat here. So we're gonna just cut into this. So this beef is really, really thin, just how we want it, because we're making beef jerky. Now we just need to cut it into beef jerky strips. So we're just gonna slice this up a little bit. We're gonna slice into about one inch strips or so. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just so it's sliced. Okay, we've cut all the beef jerky. Now it's time to just make the sauce. So first we're gonna add just a half cup of brown sugar. A fourth cup of Worcestershire sauce. Now this is called liquid smoke. It's one of my favorites. You can find it at every grocery store. So we just need one tablespoon of that liquid smoke. Now we just need one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and then one teaspoon of smoked paprika. You wanna make sure it's smoked. Then I'm just gonna add one tablespoon of this Caribbean jerk sauce. This is Buffalo Wild Wing sauce and it's one of my faves. Then you're just gonna mix it all together. This is our sauce where our meat is gonna marinate. Okay, now it's time to put our beef jerky in. You just wanna make sure that the pieces are not stuck together, that it's just individual pieces, and we'll put them right on top of each other. Then we're gonna cover this with plastic wrap and let it sit in the fridge overnight. Now, let's get cooking. All right, this looks so good. I, I'm really hoping it works. Okay, now we're just gonna get one piece at a time and we're gonna put them on a skewer. And you just want a little bit at the top, enough that it won't fall off. Then we're just gonna go all the way down to the bottom of the skewer. So we're just gonna do one piece at a time and just put a lot of pieces on this little skewer. Now as you're putting them on, you want them to be about an inch apart. So we're gonna, hopefully they won't stick together as they cook. Okay, this one's ready to go. We're just gonna bring it right over with our skewer and just put it on the air fryer just like that. So go ahead and put it into the air fryer. You're gonna cook it at 180 degrees for 45 minutes. So let's see if this works. They fell a little, they fell a lot. That one stayed alive. Okay, these didn't stay up as well as I had hoped. This one did but they actually still look like they're still getting cooked pretty good. They'll just be a little scrunchy, which is fine. Okay, we're gonna try and put these back up. We gotta keep, keep on cooking them until they're cooked all the way. So hopefully they'll stay, we'll see. Here we go. Okay, there's like 12 minutes left, but I'm gonna just check on them. Ooh, yeah. Those sticks are not working very well. I feel like you can even lay them down, but I think for the most part, it's still working like really well. Okay, let's pull one of these out. Okay, this is looking so good. I don't like my beef jerky really hard and this is like tender. I love this. So you can kind of see they're a little bit oily so we're gonna put them on a paper towel and try and get all the oil out of them because we want these as dry as can be. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Let's give that a try. Oh my. I'm never going back to store bought. <laughs> That's so good. Now the last recipe that I am attempting to make is the Caribbean jerk chicken wings. Now chicken wings supposedly are the best to make in the air fryer because it makes the outside nice and crispy, the inside nice and tender. So let's give it a try, see if it works. We're gonna start by taking some chicken wings and putting them into a bowl. Now you wanna make sure that you add just a little bit of olive oil. That's how we get that crust on the outside. Go ahead and just mix that olive oil around so it gets around all the chicken. There we go. Then I'm just gonna add a little bit of garlic salt. It's like one of my most favorite seasonings. I think it just tastes so good. And then go ahead and mix that around. All right, ready for the air fryer. Go ahead and preheat your air fryer to 400 degrees. So make sure you spread them out into a single layer. All right. Okay, we're gonna cook these for 15 minutes. About halfway through, about seven minutes into it, we're gonna open it and see how it's doing. Nice. Okay, they're looking great. I'm just gonna shake them a little bit. All right, feeling, feeling good about it. Okay, let's stick it back in and let it finish cooking. Okay, it's all done. Let's pull this out. Oh, nice. Okay, now we just gotta make some sauce to go with it. So in this bowl, I'm gonna add some more of this Caribbean jerk sauce that we used before. It's by Buffalo Wild Wings. You could also use buffalo sauce if you want. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of honey and a little bit of lime. So you're gonna add about one cup of the Caribbean jerk sauce, about oh, three tablespoons of honey, and about a tablespoon of the lime sauce. And just mix it all together. Then, I'm just gonna put in all my chicken. Okay. All right. Taste test here. It's my favorite part. Mm. Sauce on there is good. 